Welcome to the Jamal Show. Today I'm interviewing Mr. Bellamy. What was it like to run a campaign? How did it feel to be elected to city council? So running a campaign was a lot of fun. It takes up a lot of time though. So we started um, nearly seven or eight months before the actual election. Um, we started raising money, started knocking on doors, talking to a lot of different people, building up momentum, and uh, winning was the best part of it all. Two years ago, I ran and then I lost by four votes, so that sucked. It didn't feel good at all because they told me it was a tie first, and then we lost by four votes. Somehow, four votes weren't counted. And, um, but now, two years later, we won by the largest margin of victory that the city's ever seen, and I'm the first person to ever win all 10 precincts, so kind of shows hard work pays off. What are some of my plans and priorities for the city of Charlottesville? Well, I got three things that I'm really working on. The first one is making sure that we have a city slash county pre-K center. So I'm trying to get this pre-K center for everybody who lives within the quote unquote urban ring. So that's gonna require the city and the county elected officials to work together. And we've been doing that. So I've been meeting a lot with our board of supervisors, our school board members, talking to them about different things. So that's been going well. Um, the second thing is making sure that we redo all of the uh, affordable housing sites uh, lo the low income affordable housing sites in the city. So that's called redevelopment, making sure that we, like West Haven, South First Street, that we build up better housing developments for everybody who lives over there. And then uh, lastly, it's uh, working on getting a female empowerment group started. So kind of like the 100 black men that we have, I'm trying to get something started for the females, which we're working on and that's going really well. Are the similarities between being a teacher and a politician? Um, yes. Well, yes and no. So you got to be able to work well with people, have a lot of patience. Um, but personally, I like being a teacher and being here with you guys more than being on council. Being here with y'all laughing and y'all getting on my nerves and asking me all of these questions all the time about this and that is actually a lot of fun for me. So I like doing this. You all have taught me to have a lot of patience. And that's kind of translated into being a counselor because people, they want to come, they have questions about a lot of different things. And I've realized very early on, if I can work with you all, people like Jaquan and uh, <laughs> Jordan and all of y'all, if I can work with y'all, then I can work with anybody. And you know. You heard I got jokes. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got a, a couple little ones. From my day, we used to, you know, crack a little bit at the table. I remember we used to say stuff like, uh, your mama hair is so nappy and dirty that when she shook her head, it was so full of dandruff, the principal would call a snow day. <laughs> like, I don't know, what you got? Come on, bro, you said what about my mom? All right, hell, you all right, I got something for you, though. I got something for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, see, when I was in the A, we used to say stuff like, uh, your mama's so stupid, she's as useless as a door screen on a submarine. How was that? Nah? All right. What you got? Hold on. Nah, yo, hold on, man. You, yo, you getting a, you, wait, hold on, man. Now, you know I box. You, no, nah, hold on, hold on, man. Join me next week when I introduce my other.